The Department of Justice announced this morning that it is expanding the FBI's definition of rape, which has been on the books since 1929. For the first time, the FBI's statistics will include people of any gender, instances of date rape and statutory rape, and rape with an object. Women's rights advocates who have long pushed for the move say the revised definition will lead to a more accurate accounting of incidents of rape, but that it still must be accompanied by a cultural shift so that more rape survivors. Come forward and report the crime. FSRN's Alice Olstein reports from Washington. Women's rights organizations have been pushing for the FBI to change its official definition of rape for several decades. Until Friday's announcement, the statistics of rape in the yearly Uniform Crime Report only included the forcible vaginal penetration of a woman by a man. Under that narrow definition, nearly 85,000 rapes were reported in 2010. Now, says White House advisor Lynn Rosenthal, more accurate numbers will lead to a better cultural understanding of rape. It matters because crime data is used by policymakers, researchers, and legislators to understand crime and propose solutions. And it matters in rape cases particularly because the consequences of this crime are so dire. When victims are suffering so greatly, but they're invisible in our national crime data, it limits our ability to fully understand the extent of the problem. Rosenthal says the change could convince politicians to dedicate more resources to treating the physical and mental health of rape survivors and educating the public about issues of consent. But many advocates, including D.C. women's rights activist Emily Brooks, says statistics will never be accurate until rape survivors feel comfortable coming forward. A lot of segments of society are sort of rightly afraid of the police. People of color, certainly. Anyone who is low income, undocumented, people who don't speak English as a first language, women, types of people who have been more frequently abused by police. Brooks also cited recent examples of women who did come forward about rape, only to be publicly blamed for the attack. The rape charges last year against IMF President Dominique Strauss Kahn and two NYPD officers were dismissed, and the defense teams repeatedly cited the behavior, personal history, and character of the female victims as evidence. When you see high-profile cases like that, there is a very legitimate wonder about the benefit that people get from bringing rape cases to light. A person needs to be able to be supported when he or she reports a rape, and not. You have to see your your entire life story being investigated and the, your own credibility being called into question because you are trying to do what is actually a very brave and honorable thing. The FBI's new definition won't impact how rape is prosecuted, which is up to state and local governments. But Susan Carbon, director of the Justice Department's Violence Against Women office, says the change sends an important message to survivors, perpetrators, and law enforcement officials. Rape is rape. Is rape, and it's rape even if you're a man. It's rape even if you're raped with an object, and even if you were too drunk to consent. Similarly, a victim may be legally incapable of consent because of age. An international movement against victim blaming erupted last year, sparked by a police officer in Toronto who said women who didn't want to get raped shouldn't wear provocative clothing. There was another backlash last month to a Pennsylvania ad campaign that suggested if women are raped while intoxicated, it's their fault. Women's rights advocates say more accurate statistics on sexual violence should serve as a counterargument to what Eleanor Smeal with the Feminist Majority Foundation calls rape myths. If in fact we can get rid of the mythology and get to the facts, we can enforce the laws better, and there could be、uh, less danger for women. Too much has been put on women's behavior, not enough on the predator's behavior. It will take years for the FBI to fully implement the change and train law enforcement officials across the country to report all rapes that fall under the new definition. Both the Justice Department and women's advocacy groups expect the statistics on rape to dramatically increase in the years to come. Alice Olstein, FSRN, Washington.